Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review of the brand new fragrance from Michael Kors. It is their new Super Gorgeous and I'm gonna be doing a comparison review against the original Michael Kors Gorgeous that came out about a year ago. So I'm going to be letting you know what the main differences are and which I prefer. If you're new here then hello, welcome. I have hundreds of videos just like this. I have a video going through the other Michael Kors Wonderlust range and I also have my perfume review website where I have a detailed article on the different Michael Kors Gorgeous perfumes as well as millions of other articles. So do check them out and if you're a regular then make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on so you don't miss anything new and you can sign up to my newsletter I only send it out maybe once or twice a month but it has all my latest content in so you don't miss anything and I will leave the links to where you can buy Michael Kors Gorgeous and Super Gorgeous down below in the description box for UK Europe North America and Australia cool so I have to say personally I think the Michael Kors Gorgeous range well it's two are my favorite fragrances from my Michael Kors. They're interesting and they have good power and projection and lasting power and um, so I prefer them to the Wonderless perfumes. The original Michael Kors Gorgeous is an Eau de Parfum and it's definitely a feminine but really strong like means business scent. I found the lasting power was excellent on this. Got it on this wrist. It does remind me a little bit of Armani My Way. It's got a lovely warm, ambery tonka bean in um, and that jasmine, which really, really lasts. But it also interestingly has tobacco in. So it's not the smell of cigarettes. You don't smell like you've been smoking. It's the um, like tobacco leaf, I guess, that goes in a pipe. And for me, that mixes really well with the jasmine. There's also loads of tuberose, orange blossom, mixes to create something that's different and unusual that we haven't really seen before. And that's why I like it because I feel like they've put a lot of thought into this and created something that is new, a new smell. And it adds an element of mystery, sophistication, the nighttime, a little bit of sexiness to what is essentially a floral scent, a floral woody. Um, I'd say this is great for the daytime if you want a daytime scent that has projection. You want something you can rely on that's going to last for hours and hours that other people will smell on you then I do recommend this. I think you could wear it to the office, just maybe not too many sprays, but you could wear it, you know, out and about shopping and it would last, you could rely on it. So the new Super Gorgeous is an Eau de Parfum Intense. So that means it has even more of the actual fragrance oil in than an Eau de Parfum. And I've been wearing it today and it's definitely a strong fragrance. Probably it is a bit stronger than the original. It doesn't have the tuberose in of the original and the tuberose is pretty prominent in the original. So for me, this one doesn't really smell like Armani My Way because it doesn't have the tuberose. Instead, it's orange blossom and jasmine, but it also has lots of that tobacco and a fair amount of amber, the tonka bean, and it actually has a hint of myrrh. Now usually fragrances that have myrrh in are quite spicy and oriental and normally when I see myrrh on the ingredients I think oh, I'm probably not going to like it because I don't like oriental fragrances but this isn't spicy, it doesn't feel oriental to me at all, it feels woody, it's that tobacco woody floral but just way more serious and sexier than the original Michael Kors gorgeous. So it does feel like perhaps this is more of an evening scent but I think daytime you know in the winter months it this could work but what I would do is maybe wear the original during the day and then layer this on top for the evening. Mm, it's definitely interesting it's definitely a good date night scent you know we've got Valentine's Day coming up it's definitely like unforgettable I think this could become your signature scent because it's so strong. I definitely like it, I really enjoyed wearing it and you know how rare it is these days to get a perfume that does actually last. So these two are both definitely Soaky approved. If you don't like cheap rose, then go for the Super Gorgeous. If you want a good floral um, that's a bit modern and edgy, the original gorgeous and for like a really sexy nighttime one that isn't sweet and that isn't spicy 
which is rare for nighttime scents. Super gorgeous. So yeah, definitely Soki approved. Definitely loving these two. <laughs> Let me know, guys, have you tried either of them? If you tried the new one, which do you prefer? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. And like I said, I'll leave the links to where you can buy them in the description box. But that is it, guys. So thank you so much for watching, as always. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.